COP21 is very important for FAO. Uh, as you can see from the several negotiations, we are at uh, the 21st COP. And agriculture and food security, unfortunately, ha have been out of the negotiations. And our message to COP21 is climate change can put in risk all the achievements we have done so far in agriculture and food security. Meaning that agriculture should have been seen as a solution and not as a threat. And we have a responsibility after the sep September when the Agenda 2030 has been approved to eradicate hunger, poverty and improve nutrition of the world population. FAO is supporting the smallholder farmers, the family farmer, the fishers, the, the forest dwellers to be resilient to climate change. We are supporting them with technologies, helping to improve production, improve productivity, at the same time be resilient in face of climate change. To adapt to the effects of climate change, but at the same time contributing to the adaptation, what we call bringing co-benefits to the process of climate change. What we can, we can bring is uh, production systems which can help. FAO has been working on agroecology. FAO has climate smart agriculture where we put together productivity, resilience and reduction of uh, gas emissions and is an approach where we have the three integrated uh, components. Uh, and we have save and grow. We don't have the solution. We have different solutions we present to the farmers and it's up to them to decide what is the one most appropriate to their needs and to face the impact of climate change. On the other side, as I mentioned, we work with the policymakers and we help them with insurance mechanism to financial mechanism to have a global approach to uh, climate change. FIO is, is presenting global projects, global programs to the Green Climate Fund. We work very close with Jeff and we hope a decision will be taken in Paris in order to fund the Green Climate Fund with the 100 billion, as has been already decided by uh, the, the global leaders. And we hope this will be a mechanism to be funded and to be decided in Paris. If you look at the 17 SDGs, the majority of them are linked to climate change. We cannot eradicate poverty, if we don't face the impacts or are not prepared to face climate change, we cannot eradicate hunger, we cannot have a nutrition agriculture if we don't face climate change, uh, oceans, uh, biodiversity, uh, climate change, nutrition, to mention some of them. Meaning that climate change is a cross cutting to all uh, the 17 SDGs. And we consider that if you don't face the effects of climate change, we cannot achieve the SDGs, especially SDG 1 and SDG 2. And if you don't achieve SDG 1 and 2, we cannot achieve the 17 SDGs.